Welcome to your first look at the 2025 to 2026 winter. As the days grow shorter and the air turns crisp, it's never too early to start thinking about what the coming season might have in store. Whether you're already dreaming of snow days or just hoping for a mild winter, we've got you covered with the latest outlook. It's September 13th, and while fall is just beginning, we're already peering ahead to the snowy months. The first hints of change are in the air, and soon enough those golden leaves will give way to frosty mornings and the first flakes of snow. Today, we'll break down what you can expect this winter, region by region, across the US from the Northeast's classic blizzards to the unpredictable weather in the Midwest and the unique patterns out West, we'll explore how each area could be affected. Our forecast isn't about predicting a single snowstorm, but about the big picture patterns that shape the season. We look at the trends, the shifting jet streams, and the global forces that influence how much snow falls and where. This year, La Nina is the main player, and it's likely to bring an active winter for some and a quieter one for others. La Nina tends to push the jet stream northward, which can mean colder, snowier conditions for some regions, while others may see less precipitation and milder temperatures. We'll show you which areas could see more snow and which might have a milder, drier season. Some cities could be in for above-average snowfall, while others may experience a winter that feels more like an extended autumn. Understanding how cold air, moisture, and timing come together will help explain why some towns get buried in snow while others miss out. It's a delicate balance. Sometimes just a few degrees can make the difference between rain and a major snowstorm. As winter approaches, forecasts will get more detailed, but this early outlook sets the stage. We'll keep updating you as new data comes in, so you can plan ahead, whether it's for travel, winter sports, or just making sure your snow shovel is ready. Whether you're a skier, eager for fresh powder, a city planner preparing for snow removal, or simply someone who loves watching the world turn white, this forecast is for you. Winter means something different to everyone and we're here to help you make the most of it. So grab a warm drink, settle in somewhere cozy, and let's dive into what the 2025 to 2026 winter might bring. From first flurries to the season's biggest storms, we'll help you get ready for whatever winter has in store. What is La Nina? It's a term you might hear every winter, but what does it really mean and why does it matter so much for our weather? Let's break it down. La Nina is a natural climate pattern that happens when the surface waters of the central and eastern Pacific Ocean become cooler than average. This cooling might seem subtle, but it has a huge impact shifting global weather patterns, especially in the U.S. during winter. When the Pacific cools, it changes the way winds blow and alters air pressure across the ocean. This triggers a stronger, more energetic and wavier jet stream over North America, which acts like a high-speed river of air guiding storms and cold fronts. This winter the jet stream is expected to dip farther south than usual, pulling frigid air from Canada deep into the central and eastern U.S. At the same time, it tends to block storms from reaching the southwest, changing who gets snow and who stays dry. This year, forecasters are watching for a weak La Nina or a neutral pattern that leans La Nina. These are classic ingredients for a winter that's more active and unpredictable, especially in the northern half of the country. The main storm track will likely be busy, stretching from the storm-battered Pacific Northwest, across the snow-prone northern plains and Midwest, and all the way into the Northeast. These regions could see frequent storms, heavy snow and wild temperature swings. That's a recipe for classic winter weather, where cold air and moisture collide along the storm track, leading to big snowfalls, icy roads, and plenty of shoveling for those living up north. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. often experiences the opposite, drier, milder conditions. With the jet stream blocking storms, places like Texas, Florida and the Gulf Coast can see more sunshine and fewer winter headaches. So, while folks in the north are bundling up and digging out from snow, people in the south may be enjoying outdoor activities and mild afternoons. It's a dramatic contrast shaped by the same global force. La Nina's influence is the key to this winter's forecast. It's the reason meteorologists are watching the Pacific so closely, and why your local weather could be so different from your friends across the country. As we move forward, keep La Nina in mind. It sets the stage for everything we'll cover next from snowstorms to sunny spells, and everything in between. The West Coast's winter story is split in two, thanks to La Nina. The Pacific Northwest, Washington and Oregon, should see frequent storms, bringing above-average snow, especially to the mountains. 
Even cities like Seattle and Portland could see more snow than usual if cold air dips south. Ski resorts in the Cascades are in for a strong season, but head south to California, Nevada, and the Southwest, and it's a different story. La Nina's atmospheric ridge blocks storms, leading to a drier, less snowy winter for these areas. The Sierra Nevada will get some snow, but totals will likely be below average. Bad news for water supplies and ski resorts. The further south you go, the less snow you'll see. It's a classic La Nina divide, wet and snowy up north, dry and mild down south. The Rockies snow forecast depends on where you are. The northern Rockies, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, are close to the active storm track and should see average to above average snowfall. Resorts like Jackson Hole and Big Sky could have a great season, with steady storms building a deep snowpack. As you move south into Colorado and Utah, snow chances drop a bit. Expect closer to average or slightly below average totals, especially in southern areas. The southern Rockies in New Mexico and Arizona will be drier, with fewer big snow events. High peaks will still get snow, but overall, totals will be down. The trend is clear. The further north in the Rockies, the snowier it gets. The further south, the drier. For snow lovers, head north for the best odds. The Rockies remain a winter wonderland, just not everywhere. The central U.S., from the northern plains through the Midwest, is set up for a classic, cold and snowy winter. La Nina will drive the jet stream south, letting Arctic air plunge into the region and keeping temperatures below average. States like North Dakota, South Dakota and Nebraska are in the bullseye for above average snowfall. The upper Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, will also see frequent storms and plenty of snow. Even the central Midwest, Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, should prepare for more snow than usual, especially in the north. The exact storm track will matter, but the overall pattern favors a colder, snowier season. Cities like Minneapolis and Des Moines could see their snowiest winter in years. It's time to get the shovels ready. The heartland is bracing for a true winter. The Great Lakes and Ohio Valley are in for an active, snowy winter. La Nina's jet stream will steer storms right through this region, with cold air in place to turn rain into snow. Lake effect snow will be a big story. Persistent cold means the lakes stay unfrozen longer, fueling heavy snow in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. The snow belts could see totals well above average. The Ohio Valley, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia will also see more snow, with frequent clashes of cold air and moisture. Major cities like Indianapolis and Columbus should expect more winter storms than usual. The key will be storm tracks, but the odds favor snow over rain. Residents should prepare for a busier, more traditional winter. The Great Lakes and Ohio Valley are gearing up for a snowy season. Snow lovers in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic get ready. This winter is shaping up to be colder and snowier than what we've seen in recent years. After a string of milder seasons, the region is bracing for a true return to classic winter weather, with more frequent snowfalls and persistent cold expected to grip the area. Residents should prepare for a season that could bring both excitement and challenges, from beautiful snowy landscapes to tricky commutes and school closures. La Nina is setting the stage for a storm track that favors powerful nor'easters riding up the east coast. These storms are likely to target major cities like Boston, New York, and Philadelphia, bringing the potential for heavy snow, strong winds, and even coastal flooding. Residents in these urban centers should be ready for several significant winter storms that could disrupt travel and daily routines. New England in particular is set for above-average snowfall this season. Both inland towns and coastal communities are likely to experience multiple snow events, with some storms delivering heavy accumulations. The combination of cold air and frequent moisture means that snow could linger on the ground creating a picturesque winter scene that lasts for weeks. The mountains of Vermont and New Hampshire are expected to see excellent ski conditions with fresh powder arriving regularly. Skiers and snowboarders can look forward to a long, active season, as the consistent cold will help maintain deep snowpacks on the slopes and in the backcountry. Even coastal areas, which sometimes see rain or mixed precipitation, have a better shot at all snow events this year thanks to persistent cold air. This means more opportunities for classic winter scenes along the shoreline, with snow-covered beaches and icy winds whipping off the ocean. The mid-Atlantic states, including New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland, should also prepare for more snow than usual. The exact amounts will depend on the storm track, 
but the odds are higher for several impactful snowfalls, especially in areas that often see a mix of rain and snow. Washington, D.C. and Virginia sit on the southern edge of the snow zone, so totals will depend on the timing of cold air and moisture. Still, the chances for snow are higher than in recent years, and even a few well-timed storms could bring memorable winter moments to the region. Overall, the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic should brace for a real winter, with cold temperatures, frequent snow threats, and the possibility of several major storms. It's a season that will test shovels, snow plows, and winter wardrobes alike. For many it's shaping up to be a season to remember, one filled with snow days, winter fun, and the timeless beauty of a snowy landscape. The southern U.S. from the Carolinas to Texas will see a milder, drier winter, especially in the deep south and Texas. La Nina means fewer storms and little chance for snow or ice in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Southern Texas and Florida are likely to stay warm and dry all season. Occasional cold fronts may bring brief chills but sustained cold is unlikely. Northern parts of the South, Tennessee, Arkansas, North Carolina, Northern Georgia and South Carolina, are closer to the action. A few storms could dip south and bring snow or a wintry mix, but it'll be hit or miss. For cities like Nashville or Raleigh, one well-timed storm could make the season. Overall, expect near-average snow at best, with most of the South enjoying a mild winter. The real winter action stays north. So what's the big picture for 2025 to 2026? A weak La Nina will split the country's winter in two. The North, from the Northern Plains through the Midwest, Great Lakes and Northeast, should brace for a colder, snowier season. The jet stream will dip, bringing cold air and frequent storms to cities like Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland and Boston. Snow belts near the Great Lakes could see especially high totals if the lakes stay unfrozen. The northern Rockies and Pacific Northwest are also in for a strong snow season, meanwhile the southern and southwestern U.S. will be drier and milder, with below-average snow in California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. The deep south will be warm and dry. Of course winter always brings surprises but this is our best look at the months ahead. Stay tuned, we'll keep you updated as the season unfolds.